Good evening. Uh, we just completed a very long uh, investigative hearing. We had a combined two-day hearing that we completed in one day. Uh, so we had it about a 12-hour activity. We had five different panels, five different issue areas that were represented over the course of the last day. We focused a lot on developing additional factual information to complete uh, the record to date. We have more factual investigation and more testing, more evaluation that will need to be done before we complete that phase of our investigation and move to analysis. We heard a lot today. We're going to be processing that, thinking about it. There are a few IOUs that are left that we'll be looking to get from the parties. Uh, but all in all, it was a very productive day. All of the witnesses were very forthcoming and the parties were very cooperative. Happy to take your questions. Yeah. Mike? The NTS, the question is about uh, with respect to uh, the victim uh, that was found outside the aircraft and was also run over uh, by firefighting equipment. Um, we do not determine, the NTSB does not determine cause or manner of death. That is in the purview of the local coroner or medical examiner, depending on the jurisdiction. We have, uh, we have been working with them uh, as this investigation has been proceeding. That information will be part of the factual record of the investigation, but it is their determination with respect to cause of death, not the NTSBs that we'll be relying on. The question is, was that uh, was the victim that was found in front of the left wing that was also struck by the firefighting vehicles, was she wearing a seatbelt or not? Was she one of the passengers that was wearing the seat belt, a seatbelt? Um, through in interviews with uh, her seatmates, um, passengers who were sitting in the vicinity where she was sitting, we did have some reveal uh, that um, that that passenger may not have been buckled in. Uh, we have interviews with a number of the um, passengers in that area, and so we are focusing in on that as we do our analysis. Yes, ma'am. Can you talk about some of the things you've heard about and learned about during the course of the testimony today about pilot training and cockpit culture? The question is, can I focus in on some of the things that we heard today about cockpit training? Uh, pilot training and culture. Um, we have talked a lot today about training, about experience, about um, knowledge of automation, automated systems, particularly in the 777. And so we will begin to process that information and analyze it as we complete the factual phase of our investigation. Clearly, automation uh, is a huge issue in the aviation community there's been a lot of work that's been done on this outside of the ntsb involving airlines the faa researchers and so we will be paying close attention to that information that research as we move to the analysis phase of our investigation we do have surviving crew members they were very cooperative with our teams and they provided extensive interviews while we were on scene. So we have a great deal of information to work with. We have firsthand accounts and information. We have the cockpit voice recorder transcript, and we have interviews from uh, people that worked with them or trained with them. So we will continue to process all that information. And we're gonna look at other experiences of other crews. Uh, we talked a lot today about some of the flight test experiences, FAA uh, test pilots, and EASA tests was, were mentioned. And so we'll be evaluating all of that information as we proceed. Yes. Hi, Robert McPherson from AFP. Ideally, when would you like to see the final report um, completed? Sometime in middle next year, perhaps? The question is, uh, when would we like to see the final report completed? Obviously, for everyone, we would like to see the final report completed as soon as possible, but these investigations do take time. As you can tell from today's work, they're very comprehensive. 
Um, this is a very high profile accident. It is a priority investigation for the NTSB and our target would be to complete the investigation prior to the one year anniversary of the event. However, we will take as long as we need to take to complete the investigation. It's more important for us to do a complete and thorough investigation than it is to produce it by a date certain. So we're gonna work very hard to get it done before the anniversary, but we'll have to see uh, the work that needs to be done. And frankly, our workload is dependent, uh, not necessarily by what we're doing now, but what other accidents might take place in the next six months. Thank you all very much. Have a good night.